Hello, beautiful human. I am Zach, and uh, you know, welcome to our little bit bigger studio. My hair's a mess. Uh, the boys are here. Hello. Woo! Hello. Woo! We're gonna say hi. Two, three. Best, Best of the, the boys. boys. Hello. We are the, the boys. boys. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, we've uh, I've interviewed a lot of K-pop groups throughout the years, like a lot, a lot, a lot, almost everybody. I, I don't think we've ever had a, a group in the studio that is 11 people deep. What what is it genuinely like having 11 people that are on the same exact journey as you? 우선 이렇게 열한 명에서 만난 것도 너무 영광이고 너무 소중한 것 같고 이이 열한 명에서 같이 할수 있는 지금을 더 많이 아끼고 소중하게 생각하려고 더 재밌는 추억을 만들려고 하고 있습니다. Alright, so he said uh, he thinks it's a honor and a very <laughs> Uh, cherishable quality that um, 11 of us have gathered to strive for the same goal to, to, to do music and perform together and he's doing his best to to cherish what he has in the moment yeah which by the way is like easier said than done definitely yeah. definitely like to live present is really you know it's hard but again like having 11 people that are on that same journey is it, does it add safety to how you guys like exist and navigate your day to day and even make art and um, create? Um, safety. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, I'd say in a sense, like even when we perform, you know, some members, um, you know, they, we always, some members have what other members lack and, you know, we always, uh, wow, why is Kareem popping up first <laughs> in my head? Uh, yeah, so when we perform, in a sense, if we feel more safety because as a team, we built a lot of teamwork. Also, um, there's never a dull moment. We're always loud, talking with each other. So there's never a boring moment when we're all together as 11. And it also has safety, like you said, 11 of us. So if we ever get in the fight, higher chance that we're going to win. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. It's true. You roll deep. Yeah. What is it like making music? What is the creative process like with 11 people? 네, 어 일단 녹음 소요 시간도 굉장히 열한 명에서 오래 걸리고. So for recording, it takes a very long time uh, because there's eleven members. 그리고 이제 열한 명이서 한 곡을 똑같이 해석한다는 게 쉽지는 않지만 그만큼 그렇게 똑같이 해석을 했을 때더 다채로운 어 목소리가 이제. It's definitely not easy for 11 different people to uh, tr uh, interpret one song um, on the same page, but he thinks that uh, the more we make the effort to do so, we make a better outcome. That's interesting. Like, do you guys get into the studio all at once? Do you guys go in, in stages? And um, I mean, we used to go into like the studio, like all 11 of us back in uh when we were rookies but now we go into separately but sometimes like you know two or three at a time and listen to each other and maybe give each other some feedbacks but um most of the time it's just a director and just one member yeah in what ways are you guys different from one another and in what ways are you the same i think it's very interesting um whenever we see an outfit or hear a part of a song or a lyric um, it's very interesting how uh, all of the members can distinguish oh this member should take oh, yeah. this line or I have this outfit um, each of us have a very distinguishable taste slash um, what's it called charms I guess, charms, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 저희 멤버들은 일단 저는 이제 이렇게 오랫동안 있으면서 알지만 너무 각자 다른 성격을 가지고 있는 멤버들이고 개개인만의 매력 또한 다르다 생각하고 이제 또 각자 잘하는 파트가 다르다 보니까 되게 그거를 보시는 재미가 또 있을 것 같습니다. All right, so he said uh, he's been, after spending a lot of time with all of the members, um, he believes that each of an, each and every single one of us has a different um, quality and charm to them. And, uh, and everyone has their own thing that they're good at. And so that's what makes teamwork. 
and r- r- the right collaboration. Sorry, you go. Ah, uh, well, the style and the way they like each other are different, but the common thing is that they like the Derby, the Derby, and the Derby. The Derby is the most important thing for the Derby. The Derby is the most important thing for the Derby. The Derby is the most important thing So personality and tastes are all different, but the one thing that brings us together is the love for the fans and the effort that we put in to make sure our fans have the best experience. Can you describe, or not describe, explain the name V? Alright, basically uh, our fandom name is called the V, and uh, B is for vitamin, but it's, I mean, vitamin starts with an alphabet. V, but since we are the boys, um, yeah, we said the but are the boys vitamins so the B. So phonetically so. in in Korean, vitamin B is the same as V. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Cool. You pro- yeah, you pronounce it, you pronounce it vitamin, so it's like the B. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain the concept that we're currently in right now with this album, Christmas in August? Uh yeah, so Christmas in August um is the first part of our. Uh, three album trilogy um, and we are emphasizing fantasy so you know how there could be many different fantasies uh, there could be a romantic fantasy there could be a mystery fantasy um, there's so many different types which is why we put it into a trilogy and we're going to come up with different concepts for uh, each album and this first one Christmas in August of course is something that isn't real you know it's more like a fantasy where um, you know It's August, but we wanted to gift our fans something uh, in August, which is Christmas in August. And it also follows the title of a so- uh, movie that is out. Um, so all three of them follow a kind of movie concept. So, yeah. Wait, so what is, what is Christmas in August? What does that really mean? With this trilogy, Fantasy, uh, we wanted to make something not really, not exactly tangible um, into m t o uh, concepts and uh, music videos and 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 music um and with christmas in august we wanted to bring um the joy you feel on christmas um in summer and they're two very um what's it called uh <laughs> what's it called deferring deferring concepts christmas and and summer but Uh, we thought bringing them together would be the perfect start of a trilogy that we're naming a fantasy. Yeah. How do the records like bring that to life? So like, okay, like, like the songs, lip gloss. How does that aid in like? How does that add to the fantasy? Like the story you're trying to tell. Well, 어쨌든 그 Christmas in August라는 그 컨셉을 가져갔지만 이제 진짜 그뭐 노래 립글로스의 그런 크리스마스랑 이런 거와 관련된 게 아니고 우리가 말하고 싶었던 건 어쨌든 이한 여름에 크리스마스에 느낄 수 있는 기쁨과 그런 설렘을 어이 8월에도 느낄 수 있게 이 곡을 통해서 풀어내고 싶었고 진짜 그런 크리스마스에 느낄 수 있는 감정을 우리가 얘기하고 싶었던 거지 그거를 정말 크리스마스에 관련된 거는 이 곡에 담겨 있진 않고 대신 그것들을 이제 의상이나 우리가 만들어내는 뭔가 바이브나 세트나 이런 걸로 이렇게 크리스마스의 그 설렘과 기쁨을 표현해봤다. 나 되게 말 잘했는데 이거를 잘 얘기해줘. Yeah. yeah. 그래서 <웃음> 관련 결론은 관련 없다. So uh, there's it's a very specific and uh, de- uh, very specific concept, but with lip gloss itself, we didn't really want it to fall into a uh, what's it called. Uh, uh, We just wanted it to feel like a Christmas gift in summer at the end of the day. And um, yeah, there's no direct um, interpretation of Christmas in August in the gloss itself with the music video or, or the song. But with the vibes that we, we feel um, enjoying ourselves on stage, you know, um, and uh, the, the, the clothes that we wear, um, we just wanted to project Christmas energy and summer. Yeah. It's cool. It's really, I mean, obviously, like, Christmas in July, Christmas in summer is, like, something that has happened forever, but I've never heard of, like, an album or a body work around it. How does Lip Gloss begin? Like, what's the story behind that record? We wanted this comeback to be an easy listening album. 
Um, and I think that was the biggest goal, um, even with the title track, because usually we want comebacks to be very um, powerful, memorable, um, distinctive. But uh, with this song, we just wanted it to be something that you can just turn on in the car while you're driving, um, you know, winding down. And I think that was the goal with the entire album. Yeah. Easy listening in summer. Yeah. How is this? New body work different than something like Be Awake. 우선 되게 이번 컨셉과 저번 로어 컨셉과 정말 상반되게 다른데 저번에는 더 보이지만의 쿨함과 또 섹시하고 또 멋이 멋을 보여줬다면 이번에는 저희만의 이제 밝은 에너지를 어, 전달을 할수 있었던 앨범인 것 같아요. So uh, with Roar and Be Awake last uh, comeback, it was a very dark and kind of a uh, sexy kind of concept but with this album it's very bright and bubbly and uh, I think it he said it goes to show how we are able to to um, pull off different concepts and vibes as a group. 네, 저희가 늘 스펙트럼 넓은 음악의 장르를 보여줬다고 생각을 하는데 저번 앨범은 미니 앨범이었다면 이번에는 정규 3년 6개월 만에 돌아온 만큼 굉장히 많은 스펙트럼 넓은 음악을 보여드리고 싶었다. 일단 이거 한번 봐주세요. Um, Alright, so this is our first full-length album, uh, part one out of three, um, in three years, almost three years. Um, but he said our biggest goal is to to show how wide our spectrum is with fantasy. Yeah. 그래서 이번 정규 이집은 그동안 저희가 보여드렸던 모습들도 볼수 있고 보여드리지 못한 모습들도 함축적으로 볼수 있게끔 소년 모음집으로 만들고 싶었다. 그래서 세 가지 트롤리지 형식으로 음악을 내게 되었다. There are so many different charms and different uh, sides of us that we have yet to, to explore and to show our fans and our, our listeners and uh, we are very excited to make a trilogy of albums that showcase everything. Yeah. How many? Thank you. No how many songs are going to be on each, you know, part? How big is this body work all together? Oh, uh, we're planning on having uh, six songs for the next album that's coming out, our part two, and we had six songs as well for the part one, Christmas in August, and for the album that's coming out as a part three, uh, it's nothing is for sure yet, but we're thinking about three, but I don't know if this can go out, but yeah. So, yeah, this would be a big, big spoiler, exciting. but <laughs> okay. So you heard the spoiler. Uh, how does it work? Do you make all the songs at once and then break it into three parts, or do you create just for the different, like the different concepts? Well, um, for the part one, Christmas in August, obviously we chose six songs that would you know fit the concept of the first part of the album, Christmas in August. So nothing too, none of the songs are too, you know, I guess very heavy loud or sexy or very dark but for the next album that's coming out as a part two uh it's gonna be more of a more of a mature set of our group that you will able to hear throughout the songs and um the concept wise will be i guess more darker obviously than the the summer revive from this album yeah when you did it did you but did you do it all together at once no, step by step. Step by step, yeah. Yeah, step so step. the first six songs we finished first. Got it. And now for the next album, that's what we're working on right now. Cool. So, yeah. Very cool. How do you Thank know you. something's finished? Like a song's done. How do you know? I don't think we ever find out until <laughs> the listeners, our fans, get to, to hear it. Um, we do our best to, to uh, record and make our best project outcome. But I don't think it's finished until we hear it through the speakers and seeing the fans react to it live. Um, and thankfully enough, this comeback, uh, the fans have been very uh, responsive and um, it has felt like Christmas in August performing the song. So we're very grateful. promotion <laughs> 어제 끝난 거죠. 어제 끝나서 어 그동안 너무 바빴었고 이제 끝났으니까 다음을 또 열심히 준비할 예정입니다.
he said we finished uh, promoting going on live shows yesterday. Um, but we are very excited to go back into preparation mode for the next album. And for me personally, I'm uh, I'm writing a lot of songs that maybe possibly that to, I'm writing a lot of songs personally to pitch in for our next album. I don't know if my songs will be selected, but hoping one of them will be able to make it. How often are you writing? Well, um. Uh, when I'm super busy, I don't get to, you know, work on my songs that much, but, uh, whenever I can. So I, at least like twice a week. And when I do, I write for like five to seven hours a day. So, um, let's say my schedule ended at like 11 PM and I would go to the studio and work with, you know, other producers that I work with from like 12 to like sunrise. And then I would go straight to a different schedule from then on and I would just pull, pull an all nighter yeah it's pretty cool I guess I guess you can say that no you're putting your 10,000 hours yeah. mm-hmm. part of the process yeah. sick but I love it though yeah. by the way you can listen to all the boys music it's waiting for you on Amazon music there's a link in the description below uh, Kevin is obsessed with Beyonce yes he is <laughs> surprise surprise <laughs> what do you like about her what do you love about her Besides everything, I oh get it. But what do you learn from her? Um, I think oh. <laughs> he's, he, he's very excited to have this uh, question right now. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. There's oh my gosh. Okay, well, first of all, she is very talented. Oh yeah. But I think as an artist, um, she is so unapologetic about the message she wants to convey, and using music as a vessel to to express all of that whether it be um, societal or political. Um, it's just so interesting and stimulating to watch and to hear um, what she has to say um, as a human being. Um, I think that's what's the, I think that's the most respectable factor about her um, is that you know behind all of this music and performance and uh, lights and cameras, there is a human being that wants to to say something and um yeah and i'm 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 just obsessed with what she whatever she has to say yeah this is a big question that was really beautiful <laughs> i I'm, could do a whole ted talk on this but uh yeah that's my two cents uh, yeah i'm getting emotional that's really that's really nice are you crying i th- shout out to amazon um <laughs> the amazon Delivery game is strong. I've been ordering merch. Oh, we have great merch. We have Renaissance merch. Yes, you do. Yeah. I, I, I've I ordered two out of four drops. <laughs> Sick. We, it's all over there. Like, literally right where you are. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will make my way over. It's all on display. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's on display. display. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Beyonce. You merch. seen enough told him that. Uh, also, according over. to the internet, one of you has very large hands. Oh, that's oh, yeah. Jiyeon. Jiyeon. You have big hands? Yeah. How does that uh, even come? Like, like a basketball player. <laughs> well, no offense. <laughs> not. <laughs> have you seen like a basketball player? No, hands? basketball player. <laughs> it's crazy. But I guess, how did the internet realize that? Well, um, you, you know, the fans, obviously, you know, our fans, like, they're very... Yeah, attentive, and they like you know look at everything that you do. Attention to detail. Body, yeah, and I guess and he has long uh-huh. arms too. He has very long arms. <laughs> Got it. Well, l- lucky you. It's good for him. <laughs> yeah, good for him. It's, it's different. No, good for him. Yeah, uh, good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah blessing. It, this hand <laughs> is good for dance. Is it? Yeah. Or piano? That's what they say. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sexy. That's like sexy. This. There's something there. Um, by the way, is it weird that like people paid that much attention to the little things, or is it really flattering? It because is. Flattering. It kind of means that they care. That's true. Well, it is flattering, but I, I can not always though. Sometimes when they you know catch a part where you just you know don't want to, they don't want it to be seen. Yeah, then it's kind of like I get shy. I guess or I'm like, oh, darn it. 
But like you said, I think it is flattering. It's uh, it means that they care, and we f- we feel that at the end of the day, the small things that they pay attention to, it just means that uh, it just goes to show how much they they love, they us, love yeah. us and they they root for us. Yeah. What's been the biggest thing you each have learned since beginning this journey and debuting? Everyone's saying there's too much to. Yeah, probably a lot. 현실적으로 이 세상에 쉬운 건 없다. Um, to be realistic, Sangyeon said there is no no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Yeah. No, no, pain, no, gain. Okay. <laughs> no easy, no easy way. Yeah. 노력은 배신하지는 않지만 efforts don't betray you. 뭔가 내 편도 아닌 느낌. But at the same time, it cannot, it may not be on your side. If that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah. hard work does not betray you, but hard work does not betray not you, but you. it may not always help you in the way you wanted it to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I'm with you. I think for me, um, it's all about the relationships. Um, whether it be with people that can help you shape your future, um, the members, the fans, um, whether it be uh, healthy or or unhealthy, it's going to shape you into a better person. Uh, it, it's going to shape you... Oh my gosh. Korean and English. Oh my goodness. Um, I feel like whatever situation you're in the relationships that you make are going to benefit you as a person in the future there we go true well i got one too um it's all it's about not giving up that's what i've kind of learned over the years yeah so if you don't give up at the end of the day you will get what you want the consistency yeah keep swinging exactly is it hard to go between English and Korean? Like, like you speak English, but like, when's the last time you actually had to speak English like this, this intensely? Yesterday. <laughs> okay. Since this trip. Um, long we, time, right? Long whenever time. we have a comeback, we do um, bit these bit. kind of interviews yeah, over bit. Zoom. Um, but yeah, it's fun. It's my little side hustle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's mentally, it has to be mentally hard. It's stimulating. That's yeah. what I like to call it. Yes. <laughs> How long have you, like, it's it's pretty cool that, uh like, you're from the States, right? Or who's, who, you're I'm, from Canada, I'm, you're from the, from the States. Yeah. So, how'd you, uh, how'd they, how'd, how'd you audition? How, how'd you get into it? Uh, for me, I was part of a, a competition show. It's kind of like uh, America's Got Talent, but Korean. Cool. It's called K-pop star. Um, the writers of the show they saw me on YouTube and on social media and they asked me to audition didn't expect much of it I had very little knowledge of K-pop and um, the music culture in Korea but I just kind of gave it a shot I got into university and I had no plans whatsoever to pursue this career but um, they accepted me and I was their choice for uh, the west coast to send me over to korea and um after the show i got scouted by this company and after 11 months of training um it was fast and furious i debuted and now i'm six years into my music career yeah sick cool how'd how'd you how'd how'd you end up here oh for me uh also kind of similar but i auditioned for this company's uh for this company but then i didn't know about this company at all but there's, uh, I guess, one of the staff that was running the audition, like, knew about me. And he called my mom and said, hey, I think you should have your son audition for this, you know, K-pop audition that's going on this weekend. So my mom kind of asked me, hey, you want to audition? I was like, I said no at first. But then in the second thought, I was like, hey, why not? And I auditioned and I got in, trained for about two years and a half, and here I am. That's wild. Yeah. Why That's not? Why not? Yeah. Take risks, everybody. <laughs> Dream big. Take risks. You never know where life's gonna take you. Yeah, could end you up right here with with exactly. Zach. Yeah, with, with ten other guys yeah. making music and traveling the world. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. By the way, listen uh, to 
all of the boys' music. It's waiting for you on Amazon Music. Mm. Link in the description below. But Fantasy, Christmas in August, waiting for you. Yeah. Waiting for you. Um, h- how do we divide up leadership roles here? Like, is this some, mm. d- like how do you guys also split responsibilities amongst all of you? H- how do you just operate as an 11 person unit? 저, 일단, 일단은 저희 이제 한국에는 형이라는 개념이 있어서 이제 저희 제일 형이 음, 상윤 형이 굉장히 많은 어, 저희들의 뭔가 관리와 뭔가 좀 좋은 얘기들을 많이 해줍니다. 네. Uh, so first of all, in Korea, there's age plays a huge factor, and uh, when someone is older than you, we call them 형. Um, and so Sang Hyun Young is the the oldest of our group, and he uh, he what's it called instigates a lot of our conversations, yeah. and uh, and uh, what's it called? He basically like leads the team, so we don't you know sometimes when we go through hardships, you know you might go off the road, but well, that's and but then Sang Hyun you know he's always there to keep all of us in track, so we're not you know going off road. And like like you said, um, Q and Jiyeon is actually the main dancers of our group, yeah. so they're in like a charge of our performance wise, and like Sangyeon and Kevin, you and some other members like Jacob, they're like the vocal line, so they're in charge of like the vocals. So whenever you know uh, we have to do you know practice like uh, live singing, uh, we put on our mics in the practice room, and then you know they. They check if we're you know doing good or whatsoever, and then I'm in charge of like the schedules and like make sure everything is organized, neat, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and then, you okay? Oh yeah. Youngo. And like as you see, like if we, if there's any time that where we need to speak English, like Kevin and I and Jacob, we are in kind of charge of. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you and Papa Go. So we don't we need Papa Go or Google Translate. We are Google Translate. Yeah. Thank you. I only for a lot to say Google though. It's the Amazon. So. Oh, that's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. No, Google's okay. Teamwork Google's makes okay. dream work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. There's also like unofficial roles. Like, um, I check like the guys that are late. <laughs> and, and, we pay like, fines. We they pay. That. We actually pay fines. So like, really? Yeah. To make sure it happens less. Because if we did it, they'd be always late. So, you interesting know, you collect fines and sometimes he he's like in charge of like gifts for maybe staff yeah that's or, really cool yeah you know, so he's in charge of like gifts so we have like those little things as well it's really sweet yeah and Teamwork. we know like since we know each other so well we know like what members are you know will be good at what and that, yeah you yeah. know where everybody lacks you know how to exactly, fill the holes yeah. teamwork makes a dream work exactly yes teamwork makes dream work very cool <laughs> Well, the boys, their music is waiting for you on Amazon Music. Amazon Music. We can say Google, but you guys don't even use Google in Korea. You use I, Naver. That's I use true. Google. Uh, I use Google. I use Google. How do you use Google? I use Google more There's than Naver. There's no Google Maps in South Korea. No, you can use Google Maps. You can use it, but it's not. It's not efficient. Google Maps. I I always use use Google Maps. In Korea. Yeah. Where? It did not work for me. I was all up in that neighbor. <laughs> Thailand? Oh, oh he, okay. Yeah. I guess it he works. He saves all of his uh, favorite restaurants on Google Maps. Yeah. Wait, uh, what is going... Are... Why was I using Naver and Google wasn't working for me? I think Naver. a lot has changed in the past, like, five years or so. I it was, was a... just there. <laughs> oh, what really? are you talking about? Because <laughs> I didn't know either. I'm finding out about I this landed now. and, like, I'm going on Google Maps to try to leave the airport and I couldn't get any information. <laughs> and then... Ah, uh, <laughs> then I didn't get any information. No, you didn't get any When did you come? May. 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 And I'm going back in September. No Wi-Fi zone. <laughs> Maybe you have bad Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, I had shit service. Yeah, probably. It's bad. But I I I figured it out. I I made it around. Good, good. I mean, but yeah, we do use Google. Wow. Neighbor like gets the job done though. He thinks that um the, <laughs> the okay. never mind, never mind. <laughs> oh, that. but yeah. <laughs> well, the boys, everybody. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Thank you so much Thank for having. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Listen to the boys. So Music is in the description below. Thanks.
Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.